Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be going through how to find the area of a parallelogram. And up top, we have the formula that we're going to use. Area equals base times height. And we're going to talk a little bit about why that formula works. So let's jump into number one here. Uh, the first of four examples that we'll go through together in order to get this down. So for number one, the first thing I always like to do, I always like to write out my formula for each problem. Then we will plug in the base and height, and lastly, write our answer. So again, the formula is area equals base times height. So our base is this five feet here. So plug in the five for the base, times this height of two feet. Now that line in the parallelogram there is not part of that shape. It's just there to represent that height of two feet. So formula, plug in, and now we write our answer for the area. Five times two gives us an area of 10, and this is square feet. So when we take a look at a parallelogram, it kind of looks like a rectangle. It just doesn't have those four 90 degree angles. And when we find the area of a rectangle, we either use area equals base times height or length times width. So essentially we're doing the same thing here and this is how it works. If we were to take this portion of the parallelogram and move it over to the right side, kind of like a puzzle piece, we would actually now have a rectangle. So we didn't change any of the measurements and we're still able to use the area equals base times height to give us the area, an answer um, for a parallelogram. So we're doing the same thing we do with rectangles and that's why. So number two, let's write out our formula area equals base times height. We will plug in the base of 10 times the height of seven. Again, this line here is not part of the shape. It's just there to represent that seven inches. So we get an area of 70 square inches. Next, number three, let's write out our formula area equals base times height. Plug in. The base here is this 14. It's okay that it's up top, the measurement. This bottom uh, side is the same. It's congruent to the top. So it doesn't matter where the measurement is listed. So 14 times a height of two, and we get an area of 28 square meters. And then lastly, we have a base of six centimeters. So let's write out our formula, base times height, plug in our base of six times our height of nine, and we get an answer of 54 square centimeters. So there you have it. There's how you find the area of a parallelogram. Area equals base times height. And just a reminder, if you take a look at number three, it works because if we take a portion of our parallelogram and move it to the other side, it'll actually give us a rectangle. That line doesn't perfectly line up, but hopefully you kind of see the point there where I'm going with things. So this would be our rectangle here. Okay, so hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.